Hello my friends, today I am going to explain transformation and translation with respect to some of the equations. So maybe I will take a linear equation and a quadratic equation and I will explain how they will translation and transformation. Or basically we would uh, try to understand what happens when you change the coefficient. So let's say we are talking about a state and equation y equals to mx plus c. So I would like to understand what happens when the value of n change, what happens when the value of c change and when you understand this, you can easily visualize the graph and you can easily understand or visualize the path of the graph. So uh, I'll use KCC 50 for that, I'll go into graph and I'll plot a graph y1 equals to m times x. So I'll say m times x plus c. And uh, let's uh, rather than plot drawing it, let's push F5 to modify. Okay, now you see m equals to c and c equals to c currently. So it becomes a constant equation. So y equals to c or y equals to 0 that is parallel to x axis. Let's change the value of m from 0 to 1. The moment it becomes 1, it becomes an increasing function when you change the value of m from 1 to 2 the inclination is reduced and the speed is gone up you can compare it with the previous graph as well that is shown in yellow so that is what happens when you're changing the value of m the slope also increases while you, if you change the value of m from positive to 0, it becomes straight an equation and you make it negative, it becomes a decreasing function. Let's see what happens when you change the value of c. Currently, the value of c is 0. So, it is crossing through origin. If you change the value of 0 to 1, it is nothing but y-intercept and it is intersecting y-axis at positive 1 positive 2 and the graph is translated 1 unit or 2 unit upwards. When you put it negative, nothing but graph is going down vertically. So this is how graph you know work when you change the coefficients. Now let us see what happens when you do it in a quadratic equation. So I'll deselect it and I'll create a new equation. Let's say a times x square plus b. We'll not make it complicated. We'll not keep the coefficient of x. We'll just keep it like this. All right. And let's hit f5 again. So, the moment the value of a is 0, it becomes a straight line equation and again the parallel to x axis coincidentally. Let's change the value of a from 0 to 1, 0 to 2 and 3. Similarly, you can change the value of b from 0 to 1 and you can see the vertical translation. So on so forth. So I would advise always use technology to trace some of the graph that they need to you. Basically, you can easily visualize straight line equation and the quadratic equation up to an extent. But when you see some more like logarithmic or exponential equation, it is always useful to use these features and understand translation and transformation. I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good day.